I could freestyle about it, preach about it, or go off top of the head. But today I bought my notes so I could resurrect the dead. Yeah! Greetings and blessings to my navigators of the seven seas. I am your locksmith, your symbologist, and metaphysical tour guide, Flat Archie 5000. And I'm back with another one as we navigate through the land of Pineal. Today we're going to unlock your Solomon's Temple to decode the history and science of time traveling. So as always, strap on your helmet and buckle up your spacesuit because we're on a mental voyage and we're about to take off before the walls of Jericho come crumbling down. In the tradition of entering Solomon's Temple, we must use a meditative master key to help us stay on the path of enlightenment. It is these divine words that have a literal, allegorical, and metaphysical message attached to them when understood in its proper context. So today we give honors and respect to an unknown mastermind who once said, we take photos as a return ticket to a moment otherwise lost. Let me repeat it one more time for those of you who have may have got stuck on the fourth floor elevator. There was once an anonymous traveler who said, we take photos as a return ticket to a moment otherwise lost. Go on and meditate on that and click your heels three times while I ring this bell of enlightenment for that powerful meditative key of wisdom as you enter the corridors of your Solomon's Temple. Yeah, let's get to it, shall we? No time to waste. Let me start off by saying that the idea of time travel is a concept that has fascinated humanity for centuries, with ancient cultures often exploring the idea of traveling through time in various forms. As a mastermind who is open to infinite possibilities of the human experience, one must conclude it is fascinating to examine how ancient civilizations interpreted and applied the concept of time travel in their myths, legends, and religious beliefs. So thus, first and foremost, it is essential to understand that time travel is not simply a physical movement through time, but a spiritual and energetic journey that transcends linear time. In the occult tradition, Time is seen as a nonlinear construct existing simultaneously in past, present, and future. The concept of time as a multidimensional and fluid entity is central to our understanding of the esoteric nature of reality. One of the earliest examples of time travel in ancient cultures can be found in Hindu mythology, particularly in the epic poem, the Mahabha. Harata, the Mahabha Harata. I'm saying one more time. The Mahabha Harata. Yeah, I'm gonna ring the bell for that. In this ancient Indian text, the character of King Ravata Kakudimi is said to have traveled to the realm of the god Brahma, Brahma, where time passed at a different rate than on Earth. The King Ravata returned to earth, he found that many years had passed in his absence, illustrating the idea of a time dilation and the concept of time moving at different speeds in different realms. To explain astral projection further, we must refer to the concept of the subtle bodies in many esoteric traditions, including Hinduism, Buddhism, and theosophy. It is believed that many human Beings possess multiple layers or bodies beyond the physical body, including the astral body, mental body, and spiritual body. The astral body is considered to be the vehicle of consciousness that can travel through the astral plane during astral projection. Thus, in ancient Egyptian culture, they also had a fascination with the time travel, as evidenced by the myth of the sun god Ra traveling through the sky each day and descending into the underworld each night, only to be reborn the next morning. This cyclical journey of the sun was seen as a metaphor for the eternal cycle of life, death and rebirth, 
showcasing that the Egyptians understood the time as a cyclical and repetitive force. In Greek mythology, the story of the hero Odysseus and his journey home from the Trojan War can be seen as a form of time travel. Odysseus encounters various mythical creatures, gods, and challenges along his journey, spanning different realms and dimensions. His epic voyage can be interpreted as a metaphor for the hero's spiritual and psychological transformation, traversing through different time periods and realms in order to reach his ultimate destination. As navigators of the seven seas, one must also take note that in the practice of occultism, Time travel is often associated with astral projection or the ability to consciously leave one's physical body and travel to different dimensions and realms of existence. Through the process of astral projection, one can transcend the limitations of time and space and explore different time periods and realities. Thus, one of the key concepts in understanding astral projection from an occultist perspective, is the idea of the astral plane. The astral plane is believed to be a higher dimension or level of existence that is composed of pure energy and thought. It is said to be the realm where thoughts, emotions, and psychic impressions exist independently of the physical world. The astral plane is believed to be a higher dimension or level of existence that is composed of pure energy and thought. It is said to be the realm where thoughts, emotions, and psychic impressions exist independently of the physical world. Occultists believe that during astral projection, the soul temporarily leaves the physical body and travels through the astral plane, which is often described as a vast and ethereal landscape filled with various beings, entities, and energies. Thus, Practicing astral projection is seen as a way to develop and strengthen the astral body, as well as to expand one's consciousness beyond the limitations of the physical world. Let me ring the bell for that. It is here in this state of mind that we observe and discover the phenomenon of divine vibrational frequencies that transcend time and space. Yet through regular practice and training, individuals can learn to consciously control and direct their astral projections, allowing them to explore different realms, communicate with the spiritual entities and gain insights into the nature of existence. Which brings me to the concept of time travel, which is observed in the mythology of the Norse culture. I'm going to say it one more time, which brings me to the concept of time travel, which is observed in the Norse culture, particularly in the story of the god Odin, who was known for his ability to time travel between worlds and dimensions. Odin's quest for knowledge and wisdom led him to seek out the mystical well of Mimir, where he sacrificed his eye in exchange for the wisdom of the ages. This act of sacrifice and initiation allowed Odin to gain a deeper understanding of the past, present, and future, transcending the limitations of time and space. Take note, masterminds, in Chinese, in Chinese mythology, the concept of time travel is often associated with the teachings of Taoism and the idea of immortality. Taoism, sages, and alchemists sought to attain spiritual enlightenment and longevity by transcending the boundaries of time and space, achieving a state of eternal youth and wisdom. By cultivating their inner energy and harmonizing with the forces of nature, these practitioners believe that that they could navigate through different realms and dimensions, transcending the limitations of mortal life. Also, the concept of time travel in ancient cultures can also be seen in the indigenous traditions of the Americas, where shamans and visionaries often journey through different states of consciousness to access the spiritual world and communicate with astral beings. Through the practice of rituals, trance, and meditation, these native people believed they could transcend their physical bodies and travel through time to access the wisdom of their ancestors and receive guidance from the spiritual realm. One of the main techniques used by mental travelers to induce astral projection is meditation. Meditation is seen as a way to quiet the mind, 
increase concentration and raise one's vibration to the level where astral projection becomes possible through deep through deep sleep, relaxation, visualization and mental focus. Individuals can enter a trance like state and project their consciousness out of the physical body. Another technique often used by mental travelers to induce astral projection is the use of ritual magic. Ritual magic involves the use of symbols, incantations, and ceremonial practice to alter consciousness and open the doorway to the astral plane. By creating a sacred space, invoking spiritual energies, and performing specific rituals, individuals can create a powerful energetic field that facilitates astral projection and spiritual exploration. One must also know that certain substances, substances such as herbs, crystals, essential oils can be used to enhance astral projection and spiritual experiences. These substances are believed to have energetic properties that help to raise one's vibration, open their third eye and stimulate the subtle bodies, making astral projection easier and more vivid. In addition to meditation, ritual magic, and the use of substances, mental travelers often emphasize the importance of intention, visualization, and belief in achieving a successful astral, astral projection. It is believed that a strong desire to explore the astral plane, coupled with a clear mental image of the desired destination, one can focus and direct one's consciousness during astral projection. Overall, the concept of time travel in ancient cultures serves as a testament to humanity's enduring fascination with the mysteries of time and space. Whether interpreted as a metaphor for spiritual transformation, a means of exploring different realms and dimensions of a way or a way of accessing wisdom of the ages. The concept of time travel offers a profound insight into the universal quest for understanding and enlightenment across diverse civilizations and traditions. Question, what is the significance of attempting to apply this information of time travel today? And is it just a myth or are we discussing a topic that can be utilized realistically in our daily, daily lives at this very moment. Answer, astral projection is a fascinating and complex phenomenon that has intrigued occultists and spiritual seekers for centuries. It is seen as a natural ability that all human beings possess, but few have developed or explored fully. Through meditation, ritual magic, intention, visualization, and belief, individuals who have a strong desire to navigate outside of the realms of this worldly confinement of solid, liquid, and gases can learn to consciously project their consciousness out of the physical body and explore the astral plane. Thus, by gaining insight into the nature of reality and the mysteries of existence, while astral projection can be a powerful and transformative spiritual practice, it is important to approach it with caution, respect, and a deep understanding of the complexities of, astral, of the astral plane and the subtle bodies. Furthermore, let me also add, in the halls of modern secret circles, you have a group of Freemasons who share a perspective of the concept of time travel, which can be seen as a metaphor for the journey of the soul through the spiritual realms. Just as a time, just as a time traveler can visit different points in time, the soul can move through different dimensions and lifetimes in order to gain wisdom and spiritual evolution. Thus, in the esoteric teachings of Freemasonry, time is often symbolized by the hourglass, representing the passage of time and the transient nature of human existence. The hands of the clock moving in a circular motion often symbolize the silical nature of time, reflecting the eternal journey of the soul through the cosmic realms. Thus, as we dive deeper further into this sacred science, let us take note that Time travel can also be understood in the context of the concept of the Akashic Records, a metaphysical library that contains the collective knowledge and experiences of all souls throughout time. 
By accessing the Kashic records through meditation and other spiritual practices, one can tap into the wisdom of past lives and future potentials, gaining insight into their soul's purpose and destiny. It is here in this esoteric tradition, time travel is often associated with the concept of synchronicity or meaningful coincidences that occur in our lives as a reflection of the interconnectedness of all things. By recognizing and interpreting these synchronicities, we can gain a deeper understanding of the underlying patterns and rhythms of the universe, leading us to a higher state of consciousness. Thus, from a practical standpoint, the practice of time travel in the occult tradition can involve rituals, meditation, and visualization techniques that enable practitioners to transcend the boundaries of time and space. By quieting the mind and opening oneself to higher realms of consciousness, one can access the realms of the past, present, and future by gaining insight and guidance on their spiritual path. Ultimately, the esoteric meaning of time travel is a reminder that time is not simply a linear progression of events, but a vast and infinite tapestry of possibilities and potential. Thus, as masterminds in Solomon's temple, we are reminded that by tapping into the timeless wisdom of the universe, we can expand our consciousness and transcend the limitations of the physical world, gaining a deeper understanding of our true nature and purpose in the cosmic order of things. So as always in Solomon's temple, I leave you in peace with these powerful words. As the mind thinketh, so shall it be. Let me say it one more time. As the mind thinketh, so shall it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.